Welcome to Quest Field in Seattle, Washington. I'm Gus Johnson, along with Chris Collinsworth. The Philadelphia Eagles travel to Quest Field to take on the 3-7 Seattle Seahawks in a game for the ages at Quest Field. The Eagles at 6-5 needed to continue winning to maintain a hold in the NFC East. As for the Seattle Seahawks, this ball club had nothing to lose at 3-7 already out of the NFC playoff picture. Week 13 edition of the Game of the Week featuring the Seahawks and the Eagles. Despite a 6-5 record, Randall Cunningham and the Eagles have had constant offensive success along with the most passing yards in the NFL. He loads up for the deep throw. And talking to this receiver earlier this week, he told me he had a lot of plays in the playbook and he thought he was going to have a big day. Randall Cunningham would have no problem passing on his initial drive. Short throw to the right. He's open in the end zone. Touchdown! With 2,500 yards passing on the season, there's no denying that it is definitely his team out there. Philadelphia strikes first and it's 7-0 midway through the first quarter. With the Seahawks facing a second down and three, the game's most pivotal play would change the course of the entire game. Second down, and they're going to need just about three yards to pick up the first. We've got it. Running out of time. I think the defense has it, and they do. Is he going to score? Touchdown, Eagles. And just like that, they make it a two-possession game. What a tremendous return that was, and even better, now you have a little breathing room when you look up at that scoreboard. There was a lot going on in that play. The booth wants to double check that the ball popped out before he was down. And this is really what instant replay was supposed to do, to help the officials have an extra set of eyes out there for these tough calls on the tough angles, and I'm sure they'll get this one right. they will keep possession with the reverse call. Again, we have one of those kinds of calls where you have to watch two parts of the body. When was the knee down? When did the ball come out? Difficult to officiate, but they got it right. Commentator Chris Collinsworth, along with the officials at Quest Field, made the wrong call, giving the Seahawks a second opportunity. The Seahawks offensively could not capitalize off the second opportunity but neither could the Eagles. And that's why you send all those guys to plug up the holes. That time there were no holes, really, and he was lucky to get anything on the play. With both offenses sputtering, it would be up to the defenses to win the game. Still a lot of time left, but at the end of one, the score, seven zip, Eagles. Ensuing an Eagles three and out, Seattle went back to work against the Eagles defense, this time having huge success in the passing game. But after two quick Seattle first downs, the Seahawks would face troubles, giving up major yardage, forcing a long third down. The snap, here comes the pressure. Facing a third and long, the Seahawks went to the air and to the end zone. Goes through his progression. Brings it in. No, we have not gotten the official signal. They give him the score. The sputtering Seattle offense found the end zone for the only time in the first half. With under four minutes remaining in the second quarter, the Eagles were forced to respond, led by number 12, Randall Cunningham. On the last play of the first half, David Akers attempted a long 50-yarder to make it a 10-7 game at halftime. It's up and it's good. 
And he splits the uprights from way out. And as we head to halftime, the score is 10-7. The underdog Seahawks have a lot to fight for after the end of one half. Trailing by only a field goal, Seattle was one play away from taking the lead. The Seahawks' defense played above its talent in the entire first half. Philadelphia, to start the third quarter, continued its march to the end zone. So it's third down. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. More controversy would strike at the tail end of the Eagles drive. After a 20-yard completion to Tommy McDonald, the officials returned to the officiating booth, which meant another big play by the Eagles was brought back because of a challenge. Pete Carroll is not happy with the call on the field, so he's going to throw the red flag. The Seahawks challenged that Tommy McDonald did not have two feet in bounds when he made the reception. It was obvious that the Seahawks this time were right. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is overturned. Another challenge in Seattle's favor. Another drive that stalls and yet another field goal attempt by David Akers. But this score would make it a six point game in favor of the Eagles. A 13-7 score late in the third quarter, forcing the Seahawks to score a touchdown to take the lead. On the next Seahawks drive, Seattle looked like NFC West champions, driving 75 yards on six plays, finding the end zone on the first play of the fourth quarter. Surveys the field. Touchdown, tie game. For the first time all day, the Seahawks had claimed the lead here in Quest Field. The underdog Seahawks were confident. Despite a promising Eagles drive that entered Seahawks territory, the Eagles were prone to yet another mistake by the passing game. This time, a huge turnover crushing the hopes of a fourth quarter lead. Going down the middle with it. They picked it off. Off the Hawthorne turnover, Seattle would go three and out and would have to settle for another field goal. And it's not very often that I get really excited about defensive line play, but that time the guys up front on defense were just overpowering. It's up and it's good. And with that, the score is the Seahawks, 17, the Eagles. 13. With the Philadelphia offense looming a disaster here at Quest Field, they produce another three and out. It's almost picked off. The Seahawks did an excellent job tackling and keeping things in front of them on that series to force the three and out. The high-flying Eagles offense yet again had to trot off the field. And with one minute and nine seconds remaining in the game, Seattle kicked another field goal to improve to a seven point advantage. The Eagles were 79 yards away from a touchdown, with Philadelphia clinging to narrow hopes of a playoff berth. Randall Cunningham and the Eagles had to dig deep and engineer a 79 yard scoring drive. With two connections from Randall Cunningham to Terrell Owens, the Eagles were inside the Seahawks 25. With 11 seconds to play, the Eagles had one final chance to score a touchdown. Now they'll face a third and six situation. He's going to his right. Throws. Touchdown. Tie game. The Eagles really needed that score and they got a great job up front and excellent game management. Now they just have to hope that nothing screwy happens on this extra point try. And this for the tie. 
The PAT is up and good. And this one will have to be decided in overtime as both teams remain deadlocked after four quarters. Seattle's defense failed to provide a stop and secure the win here at Quest Field. Now in overtime, the defense must produce a stand. The Seahawks did a good job forcing a three and out. Anytime a defense can come up with three solid plays in a row like that, you know they are right on schedule. Due to lack of consistency in the Seattle passing game, they were forced with a third and long and had to heave it deep to have a chance for a first down. receiver for the Seattle Seahawks Steve Largent was one of the most disappointing players in the DSFL too. Now the Seahawks with Largent were set up for a game winning field goal. The glass slipper hung in the air. The kick is no good. They had a chance to win it there but he couldn't get it to go. Oh, man, you just have to make those in overtime. <laughs> ah, when you get an opportunity with one play, with one swing of the leg to put a W in your column and you miss it, ah, you just have to feel sick. Fakes the handoff and scans the field. Philadelphia proved too much for the Seahawks defense to handle for another series. Tommy McDonald burns them deep and the Eagles win the game. The Seattle Seahawks lose to the upstart Eagles 23-20. Suddenly, it was bitter cold again in Quest Field. The Eagles are triumphant here in Quest Field, and now at 7-5 have a great chance to enter the postseason winning the NFC East. The game between the Seahawks was a back and forth battle that the Eagles led for a majority of the contest yet let slip away in the fourth quarter. With several Seahawks miscues, it led to a tie game into overtime and a missed field goal for the win. In one of the greatest games in the DSFL 2, the Eagles are triumphant 23-20 in overtime and now Tommy McDonald and Philadelphia are 7-5 looking to make a playoff push.